This is Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com and today this is a quick video to show you how to get your USB trackball working with RetroPie. Okay, so I'm going to show you here how I got the trackball to work on my RetroPie setup. Uh, reading online, you should be able to get it going on MAME 2003 and Advanced MAME as your emulators. I was also able to get it to go on MAME 2010. So I'll show that here. And for my games, I use uh, the 2003 and 2010 emulators. So get your Raspberry Pi on your network, uh, either through Wi-Fi or hardwire. Once you do that, go to your desktop like this, and you can type in the IP address of it, or just um, it should find it if you just type in backslash backslash RetroPie. Uh, you'll get these four folders here. Go into the configs folder, into the all folder, and you'll see a file called retrocoreoptions.config. Uh, I use Notepad++ because it's just a lot easier. Uh, it's free and it's a lot easier to see um, to see the file here. So to show you guys. What I did, and I'll put this in the description, is I added these two lines. Actually, this main 2003 is already there for current mouse enabled, enabled. But I added this and just put 2010 there and it works. So just make sure that you have these two put into this file and then you'll save it off. Uh, and then from there, that's, that's all we need to do from the computer. We'll go over to our Pi and work from there. Okay, so on the trackball side here, it's pretty straightforward, especially if one of our kits, you'll just put it in, everything's ready to be mounted you will bolt the four bolts in. Off the bottom of the trackball, there's a yellow and black harness. Uh, I just ran that into the 12 volt uh, for the buttons here, or five volt, but this, this needs 12, so I ran 12 this time. So you can just run a 12 volt power supply in there. Uh, it does have a connector on it. You can just clip that off if you want to connect it into something. Um, it has a, made, uh, a main harness on it that has a bunch of extra connectors for buttons, like your left and right and center mouse button if you wanted to use those. Uh, we're, we're doing everything in here to Zenmo, so if you're doing it to like uh, a Zenmo or a uh, iPack or something like that, you won't need those. And pass that, and then it's just USB into my Pi. So uh, super simple just to set that up, get the light turned on, and plug in the USB. Okay, so we've made the change um, on the PC side in the core config. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to a game here. Let's go into arcade, arcades. So this is our main folder. Uh, most guys want to play Golden Tees, so you can see there's a ton of different Golden Tees here, so we'll just pick one. Um, I will say the only one I've had problems with is the original, the uh, Golden Tee Golf. For some reason, I haven't been able to get that one to work yet, but this should get you going on most of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and boot into the game. Okay, so once it boots into the game, you're going to hit whatever buttons your hotkey and the X uh, button. So on, on my setup here, it's, it's the mode button and then the, um, the top middle button. That'll take you in to the RetroArch configs. You can see here this one's running main 2010. So a couple things we need to change here. On mine, it's these two buttons will go forward and back, essentially your A and B. So what I did is I went down to the options, push the forward. And then I went down and made sure this mouse enable right here was set to on. So I can hit the back button there. And then the one other thing to be aware of or to check is you can go into the input, um, input user binds. Right now my mouse index is set to zero. That works for mine. If this doesn't start working for you, um, I'll, I'll put a link in the description on how to how to go in and check what yours is set to. But for majority of them, hopefully it's just set to zero and you're good there. So I've, I've changed that over. Um, past that, I think we're good to go. So what I want to do now is go to um, the quick menu. And I can actually uh, save it for just the game or save it for the override. So for now, I'll just save it for the game. If I save it for the core override here, that would be for all the 2010, which is probably a good idea as long as you didn't change any of the other controls. So you'll save that, go into resume. I can add my coins here. And you'll see the trackball works. Uh, it will not work in your main configuration screens. It only works uh, in game when you're in the game. So just real quick, I'm gonna back out of that.
And then I'm going to go in. I, I believe I have Golden T2 uh, set up on 2003. So just to show you that change as well. Okay, so same thing. I'm booted into this game. I'm going to uh, hotkey then X. And I will go down and just check the same thing. So you can see I'm in uh, main 2003. I'll check the option. On this one, you go down a little further. Mouse device, make sure that's set to mouse. Um, and that should be good. Again, you can save the core override, which would be all the 2003 or just for the game. So when I go back to quick menu, resume, can add my money. You can see the trackball's working. So, um, Again, like I'll say, for some reason, there's 10 golden T's on here. I have all of them working except the first one. It's only working with the controls here, so I'm not sure if that old ROM was only set up for these before they started adding trackballs to it, or if I'm just missing something. So I will troubleshoot that some more. Um, but for now, that should get you going across all the games. If, if you're not on, um, if you boot into a game, and it's not working, make sure the emulator's set to main 2003 or 2010 in order to get that to work. But you can see there now my trackball is working uh, on this and it should get you across there. So again, use uh, 2003 or 2010, uh, make the change both on the computer side and the core options and, and then within RetroArch here and you should be good to go. Yeah.